Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 26 of the World Cup sticker book collection. We've got five more packs to open today on Monday. Uh, I do hope you guys had a really, really good weekend. I definitely did. My uh, my local team, Cambridge United, won their playoff final at Wembley yesterday to get themselves back into the Football League. So I have been pretty much on cloud nine for the past 24 hours and probably will continue to be so for uh, for the rest of the summer or at least until England ruin my mood at the World Cup. But anyway, let's start today. We start with Ramirez. Actually, let me just sort the focus out as we always do. You guys like to have the focus on the cards up here. There we go. Ramirez, obviously Chelsea midfielder. Actually, really pleased to, uh, to get him. We don't have many Chelsea players in the collection book so far, so particularly pleased to, uh, to pick him up. Next player we get is Sotiris Ninis. I think he's a duplicate, but I'm actually not too sure. So uh, I'll put him in the, to go into the book pile. Now, well, we have been about 50-50 still when it comes to uh, to uh, duplicates, but uh, Stipe Pletikosa is a player that we do need, the Croatian goalkeeper, so he can go into the book. Number 296 is Joel Campbell. Unfortunately, we do have him, of course, Arsenal Loney at Olympiacos this year in the Greek League. And Anchines is a player that we do need, the Malaga left-back Portuguese, of course, as you can tell by his shirt and the little badge in the bottom right-hand corner. But that's actually decent for a first pack. Uh, only one duplicate, or potentially two, with the, with the Greek guy, but still, that's decent. We've, Like I say, we've been about 50-50. But as always with, the, with this series, we'll feel free to... Uh, promote the rest of the stuff that's been on the channel the past few days of course there will have been a uh, oh excuse me there will have been a my player uploaded both saturday and sunday uh, sunday's one went down particularly well it's got over 2000 views already and almost 200 likes which is superb that series really does go down uh, better than anything else that we do on the channel so if you missed it feel free to check it out there'll be a link down here to uh, the last episode of this series, which of course went up yesterday as well, which was the, the progress report. We went through the book to, uh, to see what we've pulled so far. But we actually get Yaya Tori as the opening card in the second pack. Unfortunately, a duplicate, he came with the book. Number 156 is David Pizarro, Chilean midfielder for Fiorentina. He, unfortunately, again, is the duplicate. Number 54 is Dario Serna, a good defender for, uh, for Shakhtar Donetsk in the Ukrainian League. Although, of course, we already have him. Nikit Sijelovic, I can't remember whether we have or not. Let's have a quick look. Of course, plays for Hull, who, unfortunately for them, lost the uh, the playoff final. We don't have Nikit Sijelovic. He can go into the book. Pleased. Unfortunately, yeah, for Hull, they lost the playoff final on... Uh, on Sunday, Romelu Lukaku, another Chelsea player, of course, on loan at Everton this season. Not sure where his future or where his future lies, what his future is with regards to Chelsea Football Club. But he can go into the book. That is uh, quite pleasing, actually. Romelu is a very, very good footballer who I, I do admire when it comes to uh, the amount of goals that he scores in the Premier League. Not necessarily suited to Chelsea's style of play, but you can tell already that this one has a code on it. So that means it is a shiny. So we're going to pull this one out. And it is, in fact, unfortunately, the England flag, which we already have. England are the only team in the book not to be licensed, which is disappointing, but what can you do? Other people... Oh, we've got another shiny there as well. Look, other people do get the uh, the rights, but Sesc Fabregas, we do have him as well, but still a very, very nice pull. Uh, the other shiny we get is the Iranian National Football Badge. We do need that, so that can go into the book. 255 is Hiroshi Kiyotake, uh, plays for Nuremberg in uh, the Bundesliga. I think we have him, but I will put him in the book pile just in case. And Miguel Veloso is a player that we do need Plays for Dinamo Kiev now in the Ukrainian League. I didn't know he'd moved that there. I thought he was still in Portugal. But still, Miguel Veloso is a very, very good midfielder. You would expect him to travel to uh, the tournament this summer with uh, with Portugal. There have been some surprises with some teams naming their full 23 immediately and uh, some big-name players not being in there. Uh, more specifically, Brazil more so than anyone else. But uh, number 368 is João Rojas. We do have him, unfortunately, the Ecuadorian midfielder. Uh, number 124, if I can actually get it to come out, is Pedro. Pedro Rodriguez plays for Barcelona in the La Liga. Uh, very, very good player. I really like Pedro. He's one of my favourite midfielders uh, or wingers in world football. So pleased to get him. He can go into the book. Mohamed Caleb. Oh, Khaled Bari is uh, the Iranian striker that we do need. He can go into the book. 67, Eduardo, obviously formerly of Arsenal, still at Shakhtar, the striker. We do need him as well. He can go into the book. And 388 is Samir Nasri. Rather ironic, considering uh, he isn't going to the World Cup, but we do need Samir, so he can go into the book as well. Of course, there's been a lot of... Uh, a lot of hoo-ha, so to speak, a lot of commotion about the whole Sami Nasri situation. His girlfriend exploded on Twitter saying, uh, fuck France and fuck Didier Deschamps. He's a shit manager. And then uh, Deschamps kind of fired some uh, rather indirected tw uh, comments back at her and comments at Nasri himself saying he picked not necessarily the best 11 
or the best 23 players, but the ones that have the best chemistry. And Nasri is notorious for being a disruptive uh, influence in the dressing room, shall we say. But let's crack on with the final pack. Christian Atsu, Chelsea player, plays for Vitesse at the minute on loan. Uh, I'm not sure whether we have him or not, so we'll, we'll put him in the potential book pile. Didier Drogba we do have, although, of course, former Chelsea legend, really, really pleased that uh, he had such a fantastic spell at the club. Nico Crancher obviously used to be at Tottenham, now at uh, QPR. I'm not sure whether we've got Nico or not, so I will put him into the book. Uh, Raphael Varane we do have, unfortunately. French centre-back, very, very good player. Rumoured to be potentially coming to Chelsea, as David Luiz is rumoured to be potentially leaving Chelsea. Uh, the big rumour at the minute is the fact that he's actually signed terms with Bayern Munich. But as I record this on Monday afternoon, nothing has been confirmed as of yet. And the final card we get for today's episode is the Ecuadorian National Eleven. I think we already have that, but again, I'll put it in the maybe pile. So that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. We've got a lot of good cards in this one. A couple of, uh, couple of duplicates, but still a couple of shinies, in fact, that we do need. And uh, the England flag that we don't need, but some big players in there, including Pedro, etc. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. Subscribe up here in the top right, or in the uh, or in the link below in the description, or the normal subscribe button. If you aren't subscribed already, we're closing in on 10,000, which would be absolutely amazing if we could hit that by next weekend. But as for now, there was an AC Milan career mode video uploaded earlier on today, which was the finale of the Serie A season. So definitely check that out. We'll have the uh, a live comp of the Champions League final with Milan tomorrow and a My Player in the evening as well. But as for now, that's all from me. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.